In this brief video, I'll demonstrate how to create embedded answers in Moodle, or those are also referred to as closed questions. So we have here a couple questions similar to this. For example, you want the students to fill in the blank and pick the right word. We have the, uh, the answers here, there, they are, and there. And uh, we want the students to be presented with these embedded answers in each one of those areas where there are the dashes and uh, be able to select the appropriate answer and have the system at the same time grade this automatically. Th this is the question. They have to fill in the uh, blanks. These are the answers that we want to embed in each one of those uh, areas. And then potentially we want to embed some feedback as well once they complete this uh, quiz. So here's how this is done in Moodle. We'll go back here to Moodle. I assume that you know how to create a quiz and now this is the uh, spot where we define the questions, where I specify and create the question. So in this case, we simply go under, uh, we click on add here and then choose a new question. Then uh, from here, we want to choose the embedded answer or close option and then click on add. Then under the question name, you can name this whatever you want. So we'll name it question one. Maybe helpful to have it meaningful name and all uh, that type of stuff. That's just what the system records behind the scenes. The student does not get to see that option. Now, in our case, the best option or the best here is to, and I'm gonna copy and paste this for the sake of uh, simplicity, this was our original question. You want to take out wherever these dashes are and first you start with the brackets, with these brackets. Delete the dashes. That's telling the system that this is where there will be embedded questions. If you want to include multiple choice, questions. The first uh, thing we put in there is how many points are you going to score this at? So for example, if we're going to uh, award one point, if they get that correctly uh, correct, then we put one colon in there. And we do that for each one of them. So if they chose this as well, correct, uh, one colon, and then that here as well, one colon. Now we need to specify what type of question this is. So in this case, it's going to be a multiple choice question. It's going to have three options. It's going to be um, the three forms of there, basically. So it, to represent multiple choice, we use MCS. Now there are other types of questions if you're going to use those. And for those, you can uh, refer to the Moodle tutorials. So we put MCS after the colon in all of those options. So this means that there will be for each one of those we'll have the three choices of our answers. And the choices for the answers were these. So these would be our answers, basically. So we put that uh, the third option here, it's gonna be a multiple choice option as well. And then the next thing that we need to do is we need to specify which uh, are the options. So in this case, we represent each option like this. So we put, um, so it's a multiple choice question. It is there and then we put a tilde sign here, then the next option and then another sign and then uh, the next um, answer here as well or the next option. And we repeat that for each one of the scenarios. So we are simply listing the, the correct option in there or the correct uh, variations. Or to determine as to which one is the correct option, that's where you need to put the percent 100 percent. So it needs to be just like it's down here, percent 100 percent. That tells it that uh, which one is the right uh, option. So in this case, 
we do percent 100 percent we are telling it that this is for the first one it needs to be my friends invited me to come to their this option right here their house now for the next option for those that are not the 100 percent we still put a tilde in front of it and then wherever it's the correct option we put in the percent 100 percent so for the second one it would be they are is the correct option so we replace the tilde there with the 100 percent and then the third option so each option needs a tilde and the the word and then when we know the, which one is the correct uh, answer we replace a tilde with percent 100 so you can see at this point the format that we have here basically we are saying that the first option here they'll be getting one point so the one means that they'll be they'll be awarded one point for answering that that question correctly next we are telling the system it's a multiple choice question then the next part here we are telling the system that the, if they choose this option then they are going to be awarded 100 percent they're going to uh, get it right and the rest of those options we are not awarding anything you could specify negative points in there or partial points if you prefer as well and again this is repeated in the other options as well and uh, notice that in the second one we have the percentage next to the second option and then for the third one the percentage or the correct option is the third one in the right hand side once you specify this as part of your question then you have to do one more thing and you have to click uh, click on decode and verify the question text click on it the computer will do its own thing and then you can come back here and you'll see a variety of different uh, options that it's going to provide in there now we didn't provide uh, feedback specific feedback for that choice we could have done that but that would have made it even more complicated in our case we could however uh, specify here general feedback so it doesn't matter what option they pick the student picks you can simply copy this general feedback and explain it as part of it's going to be simpler for you to consider press save and uh, save changes so let's say this is just a uh, one sample question here now that the question has been saved now let's go ahead and test this so we'll go back to the quiz here notice it's awarding three points based on those ones that we put at the beginning of each section now if we go to the quiz one and attempt the quiz notice these are the options so my uh, my friends invited me to come to their house so that's the correct option here they are it's this option going to have a bonfire i can't wait to go there these should be the correct answer so technically i should be receiving three points for this quiz now click on finish and then finish all and submit and I should be getting a hundred percent if I did this right and notice I got three points out of three a hundred percent and then also the general feedback shows up here in the bottom so hopefully this helps uh, this is how you do embedded answers or the closed questions in Moodle if you like this video please press like subscribe and then click on the bell icon